Hello, this is Raphael with New Blue Effects. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change color, gradients, and textures in Tyler 2.0 projects. Let's get started. Open up Tyler 2.0 from your NLE of choice. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Library tab. Next, we're going to go to Project Templates. I'll be working with the Prime Time Collection. Now, once I select my collection, I can hover over my icons and get a preview of the animation. Once I find a lower third that I like, I can either double click or drag and drop and add it to my project. One of the great things about new blue lower third templates is they are pre-built but they are completely editable. Let's begin. I'm going to be working on the Showtime template but everything I do easily translates over to any Tyler Pro project. Now I want to begin by changing the color of this black rectangle. So if I want to change the color, I go to the Style tab and I want to make sure I select the right object that I want to change. If I want to change the color, I click here in this colored square. This will open up the color wheel window. Inside the wheel, I have this circle that I can move around and choose a different color for my object. I could also go down here and increase the brightness and contrast of the color. Or choose the eyedropper and choose any color that I have on my screen. If I want to make this solid color into a gradient, then I'll go ahead and get out of here. Go to my Gradient tab, go ahead and click on the solid square again, and now I have two color wheel windows. One is for the color and the other one's for the gradient. Now if I want to change the color of my gradient, I want to slide the bottom tool, then go ahead here and choose the color that I want. Now if I want to change the type of gradient, I can do two or three or four up to five different color gradients, I can do linear or in this case into out which is basically your radio gradient and I can, I can choose a different color of the gradient by clicking on the circle that I want to change and also using the same method and sliding over to the right and picking a different color. Now I'm going to show you how to change or add a texture. In this case I want to go ahead and click on the texture tab, go ahead and click on the color square. Now instead of a color wheel opening up you're going to get your finder window or your browser. Here I can choose any one of the textures as long as it's an image or a video. In this case, I'm going to choose a video. I'm going to go ahead and click Open. And one of the cool things about uh, choosing any kind of video or texture is if you use a hand tool here, you can actually move the texture around so that it only shows the, the area that you want to show. So in this case, I kind of like it here. Maybe what I'll do is increase the opacity of the object so it's not as transparent. Once you see what you like, you can always go to File, Save Preset, and save this as a project template for later use. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, this is Raphael for New Blue Effects. Thanks for watching. <laughs>